Hi, this is Joe, Senior Voice Over IP Engineer for VoIP Supply. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a device to the Fanville mobile link application. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to first log into the application. You're going to create a user on the Fanville cloud management system first through the PC or Mac. Once you have the user added, go ahead and log into the application. Make sure you agree with the user license each time. And once you're logged in, you can see the devices that I've added. For demonstration purpose, we're going to work with the Fanville i62 video door phone. And you're able to monitor the device, make a call to the device, and interact with the two relays that the device has physically installed. I'm going to show you on the Fanville i62, you can click on monitor. And as you can see, this shows the front of VoIP supply in the lab. You can take a screenshot once you interact with the door application. You can open the door, relay one, and then relay two. Now also with the application, you're able to make a call to the device. Hi, this is Joe. Hi, this is Joe. Hi, this is Joe. Looking further into the application, you can add keys. Click on add. You're going to name the key. This is for VoIP supply access. And I want to customize how many times I actually am able to interact. You're going to choose the device, check the box, press OK, click on the device, and then you can set the repetition period for, for this purpose daily. And then you can put a start date and an end date. And this gives you access or denial, um, basically, to interact with the uh, door. Uh, moving on, you can also show the records, the interaction that was done with the device. You can see that I was able to interact with the camera through the application. Here you can see the calls that I made to the device. Here are the screenshots that were taken. And then you also have a security tab. Next, over on the Me, this shows the account information that I created through the Fanville Cloud mobile management system. Shows my ID, shows my mobile number. Now, the message center, are you able to see any updates or notifications that are coming directly from Fanville? This shows that there is a Fanville Cloud management system maintenance notice. Authorization, this is where you can add PIN code or the door password, unlock the door. Here's where you would add the card. You're going to name the card, enter the card number, whatever the card number or the FOB might be, save that, and then select the device. For this purpose, I'll just say all three of them. Confirm, and then it adds all three devices. Some of the door stations have the Bluetooth unlock, and then also there's facial recognition that you can add. And I was able to add my face. And then with the family management, you can add up to five sub-users off the main account. This is basically where you're going to make up their username, add their email address. It has to be a valid email address. And then their actual mobile number. Because what will happen is it will uh, send a message, SMS message to them. And then also it will email them to activate with the QR code for the login. Next, you have a notification center. Now, these are the application notifications. So this actually goes into uh, your phone internal settings. So just make sure that if you do want to receive notifications that that is enabled and active. Uh, help and feedback. This is if you want to uh, read about any of the knowledge base articles and any common questions that they might ask and they have the answers right there for you. And then you can also submit uh, your own feedback to them. Terms and policies. That's very self-explanatory. And then you have about the application. Currently I'm running version 1.1.5. The application is up to date, all right? And I'm just going to go ahead and log out of the device. All right. If you do have any further questions, go ahead and reach out to VoIP Supply. Check out the links in our description box below. And thank you for watching.